Hey guys, so as you know, Apple has patented some really cool stuff when we all can't wait to know what they do with all of this. It seems like Apple is headed toward creating holograms without any glasses or headset like Microsoft because of their recent patent on auto stereoscopic displays which would allow you to see three-dimensional images resembling a hologram without 3D glasses or a headset. The craziest part of this amazing tech is something Apple calls a beam steerer, which directs the necessary light at the viewer to replicate a three-dimensional image. There's going to be a camera or accelerator, which that will be used to collect information to adjust and direct the beam steerer. Um, even though the patent appears to be aimed toward mobile devices like tablets and the phones, the stereoscopic effect could be recreated for the MacBooks. But basically, what Apple is trying to do is bring us to any historic holographic technology, which will be very cool being able to move holograms as easy as Tony Stark does. Now this is what Microsoft is trying to do. Microsoft is trying to succeed where Google's Google Glass can. You can order Microsoft's HoloLens and get it for 3K. Only, the only problem with the HoloLens is that it's bad. Sure it's magical and all, but it's the way that you use it. You have to use your finger to point and swipe with just that finger. You can't use your whole hand. And also, you aren't surrounded with all the virtual objects. There's a certain rectangle roughly the size of a phone where you can see anything virtual, but anything beyond that, you can't see anything virtual. So Microsoft's solo lens has to get upgraded, and it is. But what will it look like is the question. In my opinion, in a couple of years from now, the HoloLens will be upgraded so well that you can just combine it with your glasses. So then you have your own augments in reality glasses, AR glasses. Well guess what? AR glasses actually exist. There are companies like ISIS that have basically combined AR with your everyday glasses so well that they look like normal glasses. ISIS is a company that made their own AR glasses. The reason their AR glasses look so much like regular glasses is because you can't see the camera, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have one. In fact, it does. It even comes embedded with other components such as a speaker, microphone, battery, the circuit board, and everything to make it look like normal eyewear. You can't use hand gestures to control it though. There's a touchpad on the side of the glasses just like the Google Glass and that's where you control it. There is however a company called the Meta that has also combined AR with glasses. Meta focuses on Google Glass Meta focuses on what Google Glass does not. It overlays augmented reality on top of your reality. Your gestures are identified by Meta to allow you to freely manipulate 3D objects where you can basically treat it like clay. Meta also gives you unlimited screens by just grabbing a piece of paper and playing a video onto that paper, turning it into a flexible computer screen of sorts. It aims to give users the capability of being able to do full-fledged 3D modeling on the go. Using another Using nothing other than Meta itself, its specs include motion tracking, 3D HD display, 3D modeling on the go, three D surround sound, camera and quality and quality lenses. Would you want a feature with holograms or AR headsets? And which company do you think will have the most success? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. And also, what do you guys think about the holographic iPhone? Possibly the iPhone 8. Please share and subscribe. Leave a big thumbs up 